Today's sponsor is the website builder Squarespace. More about them in the main video. Roasting slash reacting to your fragrance collections. Today, guys, we're going to do another part of our series where I take five of your fragrance collections that you guys send in through our Instagram on School of Scent, and I'm going to basically see what you got, see what I think, and then recommend to you two suggestions each. So two fragrance suggestions for five collections, so 10 fragrances in total for this video to see how you guys can potentially improve your collections. I'm going to give each of you a rating out of 10 as well, but don't worry guys, I'm not too harsh. So first of all, we have Juice Stop, who has sent in a fantastic photograph. The photography here is beautiful. I can tell he's a sneakerhead as well. If you look at the background, I think this is beautiful. And uh, it's not a huge collection, but I think it's got some solid pics here so far. Because of the quality of the photography, I'm gonna give you a 12 out of 10. You're doing really good so far, bro. And honestly, I think you have a good, well-rounded collection. You have something for a date night, like Tuxedo. You have some nice signatures like Bleu de Chanel, YSLY, even Oud Wood is a great signature as well. Clubbing, you might be lacking a little bit. I guess Elixir can work, but Elixir is very stuffy. I feel like it could be a bit too intense for the clubs, although it can work in the really intense cold weather, let's say. But I would say maybe get something that's a little bit more balanced for the clubbing scenario. I would recommend to you Valentino Womo's Coral Fantasy, which is a fantastic fragrance I picked up recently. It is fruity, fun, loud, ambery, sweet perfumer that's very well balanced. It's technically a tobacco scent in this note breakdown, but I don't really get much tobacco. I just feel like it's a very mass appealing bubblegum DNA, but then made a lot more modern. It's a lot more fruity. The apple is really prominent here. I kind of feel like it's Tommy Hilfiger's Impact Intense made more fun and lovable. So this is a great clubbing scent, in my opinion, for uh, modern times. It's a, a nice new suggestion I can give to people. Or another clubbing suggestion I can give to you is Rosala's Arabian Oud. The fragrance I got put onto by Michelle, Curly Fragrance. And this one smells so amazing. You will get compliments with this one. Loud, beastly rose and oud perfumery. It's Middle Eastern, which is kind of a style you seem to like in your collection, but it has this really interesting chocolate note in there, which puts a nice twist on it. So it's a really sexy, loud fragrance that I think would work really well in loud environments for you also. So check out those two fragrances, bro. Of course, guys, if you want more in-depth reviews from School of Scent, you can go onto our website, www.schoolofscent.com, where we have our one-minute reviews covering everything you need to know about each fragrance and the main topic of that fragrance. But that is because we actually built that website on Squarespace, who are today's sponsor. And I wanna tell you guys about them because if you wanna start off any project, business, or idea that you may have as an individual, I think Squarespace is the place to do it. It is where we started off our reviewing enterprise, and I feel that Squarespace gives you a really premium looking website that is very beginner friendly to make, very easy to make, and makes you look very serious and professional regardless of what you want to do. If you want to create your own blog, you can do it on Squarespace. If you want to sell your own merchandise, do it on Squarespace. Schedule your services, do it on Squarespace also. It's a very versatile platform that makes creating your dream project or business an easy reality. So if you guys want to experience Squarespace, we have an exclusive deal with them where if you click on the link in the description or pin comment down below, guys, you get a free 14-day trial with Squarespace. And then when you want to make your first purchase, use code school of scent at checkout to get 10% off your first purchase from Squarespace. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Let's continue. Next up, we have Leonardo Diamenti, who has a beautiful picture as well. The photography is fantastic today, guys. Ugh, 14 out of 10. Love it. It's beautiful. Beautiful collection. The message from Leonardo says, Hi, Omar. I hope you're fine and healthy. Thank you, bro. I am. I hope you are too. Here is my collection. Feel free to roast it. No, no, no. We would never do that on this channel. Would also very much appreciate a summer and a winter recommendations to add to my collection. Thank you, mate. Keep up with the great work you're doing. Thank you, bro. That's a very nice message. I'm going to give you now a 17 out of 10. Nice guy. So again, your collection is very well balanced mainly focused on designer perfumery really i would say probably more on the fresher side i think you seem to be a italian gentleman i'm getting italian vibes from your name and italian vibes from your collection as well and this entire picture he's probably just a happy go lucky guy living in a beautiful mediterranean country very nice for him lucky him <laughs> and i think the collection is solid it has some summary fresh stuff it has uh, versatile signature stuff some niche as well with nishani's hashivat which is a strong beast mode Aventus-esque kind of fragrance, very nice. You got some sweeter day-night stuff. I think you definitely like your ambery, sweet, and boozy fragrances from the uh, left-hand side of your collection here. I think this is a solid collection. Again, maybe you could use a more loud fragrance. So you want something that's more for the winter time or something more for the summer. Based on the idea of you having the Orm Intense, more extreme parfum as well as the CH Men, as well as Gentleman as well. I kind of feel like all those vibes will suit something like 
uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Mal Elixir, which I think gives you that louder fragrance you're looking for, but I think it'll suit your style a lot. It's quite a simplistic fragrance, but I think you will appreciate it. You, you seem like you're probably quite a handsome guy. I don't know why I'm getting that vibe, <laughs> and I think it'll just suit you. I think it'll just work really well. It gives you an extra addition to your collection that's kind of a different style, but still suits your sensibilities, what you like. I think it would just work really nicely as that clubbing scent for you. Or, or even if you don't go clubbing, just something you can use for any louder environments. You need something that's a bit more attention grabbing, go for a Lamal Elixir. And then for the summer side, for your suggestion, uh, I would say that, you know, you like quite your mainstream stuff, quite aquatic stuff, some synthetic stuff. I think that's Sailing Day by Maison Margiela, top right? Yeah, that's Sailing Day, which is not a bad aquatic scent by Maison Margiela. I would say let's get away from the aquatics, try a new kind of style of summertime perfumery, and I will say go for Prada Luna Rosa Sport. This is a vanilla-based summertime fragrance, which is quite rare and quite interesting for your collection. It is light, musky, clean, fresh vanilla, which is not very common, and it's an interesting idea that I think you'd really enjoy. I get eight hours longevity with a soft projection, which is quite solid for a summertime fragrance. I think you would enjoy it. I think it would suit you really nicely, bro. I recommend you try it out. Then we have Kunal Bat's collection, which again, beautifully laid out, beautiful photography, a beautiful addition of Mr. Romantic in there. I see you, bro. Excellent choice. You're already at 28 out of 10, which is crazy. Kunal says, hey, Omar, I'm a huge fan. It would be great if you could give me some suggestions on new fragrances. I wanted to introduce some dark fragrances in my collection. Okay, bro, we'll give you two dark suggestions. I see a lot of Zara fragrances in the back, which are gonna be light and probably not long lasting uh, freshies. You got some longer lasting freshies with Light Blue Intense, Rosasi Hawas. You got some of the Middle Eastern fragrances as well, like Latafa al Khamra. I kind of think you kind of have a slight Middle Eastern touch in your collection here in general. And you've also got the uh, more balanced or heavier and sweeter stuff as well from all the mainstream designer fragrances in here, which is good. I think you've got a nice balanced collection overall. If you like a fragrance like Dior Homme Intense, which is an evening iris scent, but you want something darker, you want a dark scent in your collection, go for something like Dior Homme's Parfum. A lot more intense, more polarizing than <laughs> Dior Homme Intense. A really great uh, scent. I think it's designer perfume. It actually smells very much niche. Leathery, dark, minimal sweetness, powdery iris. Technically an oud note in there, but I don't think it's much of an oud fragrance. I think it's more just a general woody scent. Mature, dark, intense, brooding. I think it's the next level from the Europe Intense if you want to get more challenging perfumery. Or if you want to introduce more niche into your collection, you want something dark, go for Parfum de Marley's Carlisle, which is probably the best dark fragrance on the market, <laughs> bar none. It's a masterpiece. Dark apple pie patchouli perfumery that has still this sexy vanillic backbone to it. It's sweet, it's enticing, a bit spicy, but it's mature. It's dark and mature. So both Dior and Parfum and Carlisle are dark and mature, but they're both masterpieces in my opinion. Those are the two fragrances I suggest to you, Kunal. Then we have Proben Loch Ness, who has a nice collection, but it's a bit dark, this picture, and it's all a little bit... I don't know, I'm not feeling this whole bedsheet situation we've got here. So maybe a negative uh, 15 out of 10, I think. I think that's fair. Proben asks, I'm unsure what to add next. Any suggestions? I live in northern Norway where it's cold from October to May. In the summer, the sun never sets. So I'm wondering, what would be the best suited for that? So for northern Norway, uh, okay, let's give you one cold weather suggestion and one warm weather suggestion. Your collection is definitely on the colder, darker fragrance side. A lot of sweet stuff. You definitely like Hugo Boss. And you definitely like JPG, uh, which is cool. I think that's fair enough. I think Norway is mainly a cold country, so I understand that. It's a very nice collection, definitely designer mainly, but it's nice that I see you on the top right starting to enter more into niche. It's sort of sort of like you've just entered into there recently, which is cool. I see you've already started your Puffin the Marley journey with Leighton. I would say go for Puffin the Marley's Percival as your warm weather pick. I think this might be the best summertime fragrance from the brand. Long lasting, fresh lavender and broxen is very easy to love, gets you a lot of compliments. Bright citrus perfumery that lasts a really long time is rare. So I got 12 hours longevity with a medium projection, which is kind of crazy. I know it's Amber Comprey and Fitch Fierce made more niche, but hey, it's a great DNA. <laughs> if you want basically a really mass appealing, easy niche fragrance for the summertime and it lasts you all day long whilst the sun never sets on you, it kind of gives you a new style in your collection as well from what I'm seeing then Percival would work for you. And then for the cold weather, for really intense cold weather, I actually see that you like your Zergeoffs, you're entering there. I would go for something like Zergeoff Starlight, which I think is a super underrated, beautiful, smooth cinnamon fragrance. Cinnamon and vanillic fragrance that smells incredibly sexy. Very intense and dense. 
great for the cold weather. It has this beautiful niche quality to it as well, of course. Of great performance, at least 10 hours. I think it would be a really sexy and elevated cold weather scent that would really stand out from the rest of your collection. I think it kind of adds a new style to your collection, but at the same time, it uh, rests upon the stuff you already like. I think you'd really enjoy it. I think you should definitely check it out. And then finally, we have Jesse's collection. Beautifully laid out. I kind of like this picture, but I don't like it because of that magazine at the top right. I don't know why that's in there. Why did we have to include that? It's a negative 24 from me. Yeah, it's an interesting collection. Interesting uh, choices of designer mainly with a few niche in here as well. I like that you have Toy Boy. That gives you a few more points in my book. Unfortunately, I don't see any leather perfumery in your collection. I don't see any iris perfumery either, which I think both of them... Well, actually, you got a Prada Lom in there, but you can go for a more interesting <laughs> iris scent, let's say, then. For my leather suggestion, I would say go for Floris's Leather Oud. To me, this smells like a very nice, smoothly done signature leather and oud scent, sort of like they took Dior and Parfum, made it more easy to understand and uh, a bit more niche. It smells very high quality. I think there's definitely real oud in here and lasts a really long time, over 10 hours. Check it out. And for an iris suggestion, I see you got uh, Prada Lom there. I'm not sure if that's the low or the original, but hey, if you like Prada Lom, go for the better version of it and go for Prada Lom Intense, which in my opinion is the best out of the entire line, but the entire line is great in general. Prada Lom Intense is dark, leathery, but not an intense leather, so I kind of feel like it's a different kind of uh, category. I think Leather Oud is definitely more of a leather scent, more of a tr traditional leather scent. I kind of feel like the, the leather in uh, Prada Lom Intense kind of a supporting character to that dark powdery iris which is very elegant and still a bit playful it's a great elegant evening scent great way to introduce more iris into your collection and that concludes this video guys what are your thoughts on the suggestions i gave out today do you think i was fair with my ratings i think i was a little bit uh, all over the place actually with the numbers i gave today <laughs> but yeah let me know guys if looking at these collections would you have suggested something else let us know your thoughts in the comments down below guys if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to check out our previous video on roast sticks reviewing uh, fragrance collections i'll see you guys in the next one bye